So just over a week ago, I shared with you guys the new flat wrapping blow dry technique that I recently learned. Thanks to Andrew Does Hair, of course, Andrew, the world renowned um, barber. He's excellent. Check him out if you haven't yet. That video actually did really well. Uh, tons of guys were leaving comments about how great the flat wrapping technique worked for them. And obviously, you know, it's just not something you'd naturally really think about. So going step by step through the tutorial, it helped a bunch of guys figure out how to just get, you know, get their hair game to the next level. That said, uh, there was a reoccurring theme, like the biggest complaint that I saw in those comments or personal DMs had to do with volume. So guys were saying, you know what, this is working out really well, but for the ones that were struggling, the biggest issue they were having was maintaining volume. You were still able to get your hair going either in this way or this way, just with like the flick of your hand, you know, really making your hair malleable. But getting that volume was a little bit tricky. And today I went back to the drawing board to see how I can kind of take that technique and modify it so you can still get some really good volume but also keep your hair really malleable. That's exactly what this video is about. I don't want to take too long with this intro. I just want to get right into the tutorial. But just so you know, this is uh, it's a modified version of the flat wrapping tutorial from the last week. So for any of you guys who are struggling, who you know, you tried out that technique and you're struggling to get some volume, this video is for you. I borrowed some principles from the flat wrapping and I added in some of my own new stuff, kind of combined it together. At the end of the day, it's actually a little bit more easy. That's the other thing people were saying. It's a long process. It is a long process. This is still a process, but it's a little bit easier. If you're struggling with volume, check it out. Step one, it never changes. You already know you gotta start with damp hair. It's not mandatory, but it's helpful to start with a product that adds some slickness and smoothness. So I'm using cloud control. With cloud control, you're adding a good amount of slickness factor, but you're not gonna be left with hair that's too shiny, along with just some all day hair health benefits. And on top of that, you wanna use a pre-styler. So using these pre-styling products, plays a huge part into this technique. If you don't, then your hair, you know, you'll still get some results, but it's gonna be a lot more poofy than if you have some stuff that's gonna help control it. So I'm finishing up with some original. After that, I'm taking my vented brush. This is the brush that I use most of the time. Uh, of course, I switched it up for the flat wrapping tutorial, but I'm starting with the vented brush, combing all of my hair back. And this is where things are now gonna be a little bit different because I'm gonna start by just blow drying the right side of my hair straight back. And I'm starting at the like the right back side of my hair because personally, that's where I need the most amount of redirecting with a blow dryer. So I'm just gonna make sure that I'm blow drying my hair just straight back on the right side of my head. And when I feel like that's pretty dry, I'd say like 90% dry, I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the left side of my head. I'm just pulling it back, directing the blow dryer in a backwards motion. Uh, I haven't touched the middle of my hair or my fringe really, just the two sides, my right and my left. Once both sides are fairly dry and in a backwards direction, you've kind of set yourself a bit of a foundation to work with. We're gonna start with the modified version of the flat wrapping technique that I showed you guys from the previous um, hair drying video. This time though, instead of blow drying back and then left and then right, I'm gonna skip the blow drying back part. Because like I said, the flat wrapping technique worked for a ton of people, but the biggest issue that I saw in the comment section was some people saying that when they did this technique, they just weren't getting any volume at all. And the reason why that would be happening for you is because of the blow drying backwards part of this, of this technique. So I'm basically gonna skip that. And I'm just really emphasizing the movement with the, with the uh, paddle brush now. Yeah, I switched to a paddle brush for this part. The paddle brush just makes your hair nice and taut. If you have a paddle brush, it's gonna work better. If you only have a vented brush, try it out. But I would suggest getting a paddle brush as well uh, if you feel like the results aren't quite there. So once I've been doing that for about 45 seconds, I'm gonna switch over to the left side. Again, I'm skipping blow drying st straight backwards and I'm just switching between the right and left sides. With the left side, you wanna repeat the same process for about 45 seconds. Your hair is gonna be pretty dry and don't worry about it. You actually wanna be blow drying on dry hair at this point. It's just gonna really help emphasize the direction you're trying to get your hair to go in. By switching back and forth between the right and the left, it's not really changing the direction your hair can like is gonna lay at the end of the day. All this is really doing is taking out those, those wrinkles and uh, because you're switching between the right and left, your hair is gonna end up sitting, you know, kind of more upwards and more volumized, which is what we're trying to get. You wanna repeat this process, switching between the right and left uh, like three or four times, just see what kind of feels right for you. You're gonna be blow drying completely dry hair and that's fine. At this point, the only part of my hair that is still a little wet 
is uh, the back of my head and also kind of towards the middle. So I might be out of frame for this part of the video, but I'm just blasting my hair um, to just dry it all down. Once all of your hair is completely dry, now you can switch the blow dryer to completely cold air. And I'm gonna start again with the way that I started out this, this technique. So I'm blow drying the right side of my hair straight back with cold air, and I'm doing the same for my left. Once I've done this a couple times, I'm gonna do that same flat wrapping technique, going for the right, I'm blow drying it with cold air. This is just really gonna help seal in that volume and keep your hair uh, much straighter. And of course, switch it over to the left. And for me, I just do this once each side. So I blast it with cold air to the right for like 30 seconds, then I blast it with cold air to the left, and you're gonna be finished with uh, kink-free hair and it's just going to be perfectly volumized and it's going to listen to you in terms of the direction that you want it to go. As you can see, even before adding any finishing product, it's a very similar result to the flat wrapping technique from before, but I just have a lot more volume this time and I think you guys are going to find that if you do it this way, you're going to still end up with that straight hair that's going to listen to the direction you want to style it in, but you're just going to be left with a lot more volume. So personally, I've actually really been enjoying this technique and I, this has been my go-to because it's actually also a little easier than the flat wrapping technique from before. If the preview works for you and you like it, by all means keep doing that, but this is for any of you guys who are struggling to get that volume. And like I said, for me it's a little bit easier. Of course, with everyone's hair type, you're going to have to adapt this a little bit and see what works best for you, but these are just some of the tips that I've been using that have been working for me. At this point, you just want to take a finishing product, whatever that might be. I'm showing you guys hybrid cream clay. It's actually one that works really well if you use this technique because you don't need a strong holding product. That's the best thing about this technique. If you do it right, you're letting the blow dryer do like 90% of the work and you can finish off with something that's just gonna help add that control throughout the day. And that's exactly what hybrid cream clay is gonna do for me. And just like that, guys, I wanted to make this little quick, short and sweet update uh, for those of you guys who have tried the flat wrapping technique and found it difficult to maintain some volume. Hopefully this is a solution that's gonna work, still get really similar results, just with a little bit more volume. And uh, that's always nice. We all like volume around here. Just like that, guys, that's pretty much it. Go out, try it out, see if you can get those voluminous gains along with the hair going in any direction that you want it to go. It's exactly what I've done for this hairstyle right now. It's pretty much my go-to blow drying technique as well, because it's, you know, it's not as time consuming as the previous flat wrap technique. If the previous one works for you, stick at it. Obviously it's a great, uh, it's a great technique. Uh, but yeah, this is just a bit of an updated, a bit of a tweaked version. Thank you guys for watching. As always, Blue Mom products are found down below. I'll see everybody next time.